The Blue Bloods cast might share genetics on screen, but off screen, they have something else in common unexpectedly complicated love lives. This includes not one, but two secret weddings, a reality TV show, and a cast member who's dedicated to keeping his romances on the down low at all costs. But that hasn't stopped us. We've got all the juiciest details about the real relationships behind the Regans. Donnie Wahlberg as Danny Regan When Linda died in a tragic helicopter crash, Danny's heart wasn't the only one to break. Fans were devastated to lose her. Thankfully, Donnie hasn't been as unlucky as his on-screen counterpart. Sure, his first marriage ended badly, but at least no one died. Donnie met his first wife, Kimberly Faye, back in the late 80s. She was a sound engineer who worked on an album for his band, New Kids on the Block. They dated for almost a decade before they tied the knot in 1999 and got divorced nine years later due to irreconcilable differences. But it wasn't all bad. During that time, they had two sons together, who Donnie loves more than anything. Well, almost, because then there's Jenny McCarthy. The model and TV personality was also a divorcee after she and her hubby, John Asher, called it quits three years before Donnie was back on the market. But they didn't meet until 2012, when they were both guests of Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen. Even weirder, despite the chemistry both later admitted, they waited another year before going on their first date. It must have been a great date, because from then, things moved quickly. I loved him so much, like as soon as I met him. But there was a problem. Both of them had been hurt in previous relationships, and they didn't want to go down that road again. Luckily, Jenny had a brilliant but unconventional idea. Couples therapy. Not just before they got married, but before they'd even had their first fight. I'm going to ask him, before we even have our first fight, if we can go to therapy together. It worked. In 2014, they tied the knot and officially became one of the cutest couples. Seriously. So what's their secret? They have quite a few of those. For starters, they're super open about their relationship. In fact, they even had a reality show called Donnie Loves Jenny, detailing their first year of married life. Even though the show's no longer on the air, their feelings haven't changed. I love you, Jenny. Aww. The Wahlbergs are also firm believers in putting their marriage before their careers. We're a couple first and celebrities like eighth. With so much love between these two, it's no surprise they're stronger than ever. But it's also thanks to a very important tradition, annual vow renewals. The last time they did this was in August 2021, when they marked their seven-year anniversary. We just celebrated our seven-year anniversary. I can't believe we've been married for seven years, it, which is a good thing because it feels like it's only been about a year. Weirdly, Donnie isn't the only cast member to have been married for seven years. His on-screen sister also just hit that milestone. Bridget Moynihan as Aaron Reagan. In the early 2000s, Bridget made headlines for all the wrong reasons. Just after her breakup from her boyfriend of two years, Tom Brady, she realized she was pregnant, but her baby daddy was already dating someone else, Giselle Bündchen. The paparazzi had a field day. At the time, the actress told People, I would have cars following me and men hiding in the bushes outside my house. That kind of attention felt like a threat. Bridget and Tom eventually decided to co-parent their son, and the NFL star married Giselle and had two more kids. But we're not interested in him. What about Bridget? Thankfully, she found her own happy ending with businessman Andrew Frankel. He even knew all about the struggles of single parenting, as he had three sons from his first marriage. They met in 2010 through a mutual friend, but it took a while for them to start dating. The actress told People magazine, he really is the sweetest. He's the nicest guy ever. Genuine, kind, and sensitive. He's the best. Five years later, Andrew surprised Bridget by popping the question during a vacation in Puerto Rico. But that was nothing compared to how they surprised their friends and family. Because they managed to throw a surprise wedding reception. Their guests thought they'd be attending a moon harvest festival, but it was actually a super secret wedding reception, as they'd already exchanged vows without anyone being any wiser. Talk about sneaky. And they have no regrets. Married life is good, you know? I finally figured it out in my 40s that when it works, it works. And like, yeah. there doesn't have to be drama. While this couple prefers to keep their relationship on the down low, they're nice enough to give us the occasional glimpse into their private lives. But that's not the case with this next actor, whose dating life is a true mystery. 
Will Estes as Jamie Regan While fans everywhere got to watch Jamie's romance with Eddie evolve from dating to marriage, the opposite is true of the actor behind the role. Just because we know so little about Will's dating history doesn't mean we're totally clueless. In 2004, he dated Jennifer Love Hewitt for a few months, and we can't help but wonder if it ended badly, because since then, he's been incredibly tight-lipped about who he's seeing, with one exception. In 2020, he dated Chicago Med's Tori DeVito. The actress confirmed as much on her Instagram account with a cute pic of the two of them. But that pic doesn't exist anymore, since Tori deleted it, and she had a good reason. They broke up a month after it was taken. Now she's dating someone new and seems really happy. But what about Will? He's either single or keeping his boo well away from the spotlight. Rather than share that with fans, he prefers to educate them about activism and politics. Luckily, his on-screen wife is more willing to share. And she's also a member of the Seven Year Club. Vanessa Ray as Eddie Janko Reagan Vanessa's real-life romance is so sweet it seems scripted. After her first marriage to Derek Bainham fell apart in 2007, she wasn't really looking for love again. But it found her when her future Mr. Wright, musician Langdon Beard, split up with Leah Michelle in 2008. After six years of dating, he popped the question one day while they were out for a walk. And the rest is history. In stark contrast to her on-screen wedding, Vanessa's real big day was super chilled. Not only did guests get tambourines to play while the couple walked down the aisle, but they snacked on tacos and teepees. It was like something out of Pinterest. But while her on-screen and off-screen weddings were really different, they had one thing in common. Langdon was at both. Weirdly, the actress admitted that her hubby attended her fittings for Eddie's dress. To give some advice, she told The Outsider, my husband really did give his two cents. It was a collaboration. Okay, we're not entirely sure what advice a musician could give about a dress, but we're happy to know he's so involved in her career, even if that includes a fake marriage to another man. We've already mentioned three cast members who've been married for seven years, but now we're going to bring out the big guns. Get ready to learn about the cast member who's obliterated that record with an impressive three decades of married bliss behind him. And that's not including his first marriage of a decade. Tom Selleck as Frank Reagan In 1972, Tom Selleck broke the hearts of millions of women across the world when he married model Jacqueline Ray. So when the couple divorced a decade later, quite a few ladies were pleased that Tom was back on the market. But he only had eyes for one woman, who he found in 1983 after dating actress Mimi Rogers for a few months. Her name is Jilly Mack, and you'll never guess how they met. Tom's longtime friend, Jane Seymour, once admitted that around the time the actor met Jilly, he'd become obsessed with the play Cats. She elaborated, I thought it was good, but I couldn't see going back a dozen times. But then she realized why he kept going back. He wasn't as interested in the play as he was in the cast. Well, one particular cast member. Um, you saw her for the first time, I heard. She was in Cats. Yeah, she was a uh, rumple teaser. Wow. wow. And you kept going back to see her before? I, uh, I went. Kind of, yes. In fact, he saw the show three times before she even noticed him. But when she finally did, sparks flew. Four years later, they decided to tie the knot. Only nobody knew about it for a month. Because like Bridget Moynihan, Tom and his boo got hitched in a secret ceremony in Las Vegas. It was partially to have the moment to themselves and partially to avoid the paparazzi. The couple used fake names to make the appointment and only took Polaroids so that nobody could sell any pictures to the media. Now they've been together for 35 years and have a beautiful daughter together. And even after all that time, they're still madly in love and determined to keep their love life private. In fact, the reason the actor quit Magnum P.I. was to have more time with his family, as his popularity in the show made it hard to have a work-life balance. The actor once admitted, I found it very difficult to expose my private life and live with it. It's important to nurture your marriage. I don't know what our secret is, but I'm happy. However, Tom does share the occasional detail, like the special way he celebrated his 30th anniversary alone. So I didn't know how to celebrate our anniversary. I sent her flowers, but you know what I did? What? I went to Cats. <gasps> That's where I right. met my wife. That's right, See you. Um... How sweet is that? It's like his relationship came full circle. For even more Blue Bloods info, check out some of our other awesome videos. Thanks so much for watching!